What is up guys, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. After using a lot of custom rooms for a lot of time and now I finally decided which is one of my favorite custom rooms. I have a lot of favorite custom rooms of course and yes I made a video previously some time ago that which is my favorite room. Now the rooms are updated, a lot of things are updated but now which is one of my favorite custom rooms. In this video I'm gonna share with you my reasons behind my favorite custom room. Which are those reasons and also I'll provide the link in the description for this room if you also want to try it out on your device. Now let's get started. Guess this is the room which I was talking about Pixel Extended Android version 10. Previously my favorite room was Pixel Experience and this one is Pixel Extended and right now this is one of my favorite custom rooms. Why? Because of its stability and also has some little bit of extra features too. The room is Pixel Extended based on Android version 10. The latest Android 11 version is also available but I will prefer Android version 10 instead of Android version 11 because of the stability because Android 11 is still is in early stage. Yes. Android 12 is coming soon too but Android 11 has not extra all those features which I was expecting so Android 10 is one of my favorite features right now Android 10 base pixel extended is one of my favorite one also the room is available for this Redmi Note 8 2 I'm using it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro till now and this room is available for a lot of devices if you're using any of the device you might get this update I'll try to provide a link in the description and if still this room is not available for you you can try out a GSA because this room is great some things which I get which I was expecting and the things which are working in this pixel extended which I was looking for. First of all the stability. Yes the room is quite stable, quite smooth. This is one of the main reasons behind using this build and also I don't think I don't want many customizations. I'm not a fan of much customizations. I love customizations but not at all. So this room has some little bit of extra features. Let me show you which are those features you get. If you go to the system, here we have the gesture related customization. But buttons and device customization only these three things you get in this pixel extended so it has some little bit of things like if you go for the device customizations we have the option of enabling the volte icon this is one of the reasons because the pixel experience was great but pixel experience does not include the volte icon pixel extended includes the volte icon as you can see on my status bar the volte icon is there Still, I I was expecting it should be customizable or also sh it should include the Vo Wi-Fi icon too, but this is still good. You also get the traffic indicators where you can enable the network traffic speed, but I will definitely choose the third party app for that. As you can see, I've enabled the third party app because I have some extra features in that app also. It also includes some clock customizations, battery indicator related customizations, some brightness related customizations and quick settings customizations which include the rows and columns. So the main thing some cool kind of features are already present there also includes the Android 11 style notification headers which is one of the perfect features out there in all the Android 10 rooms which is not available in all the Android 10 rooms but some rooms I've used so far which has these features and this is one of my favorite one. Blur behind quick settings I don't like I have removed that one so these things I just get in this latest pixel extended which were one of my favorite features also includes all the pixel features comes with the Google Apps pre-installed so some of the guys don't like the Google Apps build maybe a lot of guys don't like the user Google Apps build but I will definitely prefer the Google Apps build because Google Apps build has all those Google Apps pre-installed and also has no USB apps USB apps are quite secure we know about that but still Google Apps are quite good it has a Google feed option available as expected Google Apps which is Google Pixel Launcher is pre-installed which includes some little bit of features too quick settings you can customize as I previously told you other things seems to be same here I also have main kind of things in my case I'm using the Magic Suite 21.1 so in my case Magic 21.1 does not have any issues as you can see Magic 21.1 even I can use the banking apps without any issues let me show you my safe net status as you can see safe net status is passed so which means I have almost everything seems to be working also let me tell you one thing if I go here I have not applied the Magic hide props which means I'm using default Magic 21.1 without hiding and safety net is passing but this may be divided depends upon your device in my case I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro and it is passing maybe in your device it's not passing but yes you can install Magisk Hide Props I have a video on that make sure to check out that if the safety net is not passing for you also I, I already made a review on this King Twix Reborn if you want to install this then install this and you can increase your device performance for this after installing this you will definitely be able to customize your device performance by going to King Twix app from here you can choose the battery balance latency extreme or gaming in my case I have chosen the battery because I love to use battery I am not a game 
gamer but you can use the gaming profile here from also L speed was quite good enough you can use that one too but that is not updated this one is quite good i have a video on that make sure to check out that one other thing seems to be same here as i previously told you this is just about my favorite custom room and why some of the reasons which i just wanted to mention with you battery backup is quite good also as you can see screen this film since full charge is honestly quite good i'm using it from some time didn't got any major bugs it's officially available for a lot of devices i'll write a link in the description for all the official supported devices and you can search on xdk if you're is not supported officially this is all from today's video if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye